Hi, everybody. My name's Christine Major, and um, I'm a virgin. But I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night and had lots of sex. So I've been married for 10 years now and I have to admit, my husband has a very strong libido and he loves to turn everything I say into something sexual. Like when I'm making dinner, he comes up to me and he's like, honey, what are we having for dinner? And I'll tell him we're having meatloaf. Well, he gets so excited. He goes, mm, I'll give you some meatloaf. <laughs> brushing my teeth and he'll come up to me and he'll go, Ooh, I'll brush your teeth. <laughs> Is that a little plaque in there, honey? Mm. I'll get rid of that plaque. I'll fill your cavity. <laughs> so summer's coming and I'm really excited about that and I figured it's time to get into swimsuit shape and uh, you know start eating better, so I decided to get rid of all the bad food in the house, including my kids' Easter candy. Yeah. So I ate it. <laughs> I'm off to a really good start. I feel really motivated. Yeah. Now, with summer, though, I'm really excited about summer. Barbecues, uh, going to the beach, drinking beer. It's great. But there's one thing about summer that really scares me. Men in mesh shirts. Uh, I mean, what's the purpose of a mesh shirt, really, honestly? You probably have a mesh shirt. I mean, come on, seriously. I can see right through them. Your nipples are hanging out. Your hair's trying to break free from your chest and your back. It's disgusting. Are they like training shirts for men who want to go topless? What do they provide the security of a t-shirt, yet the freedom of going without one? Yeah. So the next time you're reaching for your mesh shirt, yeah, think twice. Mesh shorts, on the other hand, might be. They might not have a problem with that. So my husband's having a lot of sex lately. Just not with me. I've been finding lotion around the house lately. Yeah. <laughs> you too? Yeah. <laughs> By the bedside table. You know, next to the computer. You know, the normal places you find hand lotion. You know? So I thought, you know, oh, my husband just wants his soft hands, so, you know, when he touches me, it doesn't feel like sandpaper. Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I started finding it in really weird places. Yeah. Like, next to the Wheaties in the pantry. <laughs> I guess it's part of a complete breakfast. <laughs> And then I found it next to my shoes in the closet. And I thought, oh, he wants to give me a foot massage. Yeah. I didn't get a foot massage. But then I got really nervous when I went down in the basement and I found the hand lotion nestled between his hand tools and his power back. <laughs> yeah. I think I should be a little jealous and a little nervous about that. Well, that's all I have this evening, so uh, I just wanted to uh, give you a little thank you very much. You're a great audience. <laughs>